my intention was to break the pageant mold. What happens if we get a Miss America who is a gun advocate? People would notice, people would take to it. Young girls look up to Miss America. It would be incredible. I grew up with eight other kids in my family. I was the sixth. My dad was in the army, so we moved every about three or four years. When I was 10 years old, we were living in Germany at the time. I didn't get along with my family. I didn't get along with the kids at school. I got bullied a lot because I was different. My dad saved my life and, and I remember him saying, Teresa, there will always be people that will find reasons to hate you. And to this day, I mean, 23 years old, I know that to be true. And so he said, you need to find something that makes you feel comfortable and confident. And so at that point, he started taking me out hunting with him. And he had never taken any of the other kids out. So this was very, very special for me. He was my hero. He was my inspiration. Um, every, every good quality I have has come from him because of him. I have two tattoos. On my left shoulder, I have the Army dental insignia in honor of my dad. And down my side, my right side, I have the serenity prayer. And I, I got the serenity prayer when I was 20, and I got it to remind myself of my past with bullying. What I got from the outdoors is, is serenity. It was peace, it was peaceful, and it taught me to appreciate what God has naturally given us, and that's what I've noticed um, from other people that are involved in the outdoors, and they're, they're humbled by it. My dad served for 33 years, and I saw the pride that it gave him. I had always known that I would follow in my dad's footsteps. So at 17, I, I thought, you know, I, I want to serve my country. I want to be a true patriot. And so I joined the Kansas Army National Guard. <laughs> 